the hell are you doing? Turn what? that shit off, man. What is your fucking problem? I mean, what is your problem? This music sucks. Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk to you about how awesomely brutal Cannibal Corpse is. Are you kids ready? Okay, I'll show you the stuff I got from them. I got Gallery of Suicide. Yeah, it's pretty much awesome. I mean, the album art is awesome, too. I mean, who wouldn't like an album cover with somebody getting their intestines ripped out or cut out with a knife? Song titles like I Will Kill You, Sentence to Burn, Gallery of Suicide, Oh, I'm not going to say that one on the internet. From Skin to Liquid and Headless are my favorites on the album. And the other one I got is... I got Kill. I mean, I was a little disappointed on the artwork on that one. But the music is pretty good. The best ones I think from this one are... The Time to Kill is Now, Make Them Suffer, Five Nails Through the Neck, Death Walking Terror, The Discipline of Revenge, and The Brain Removal Device. My grandmother bought me the Kill album. I was at camp and she sent me, sent me it and everyone at camp thought it was the most disturbing music ever. But you know what, I don't care what they think. Cause it was brutal. I was in. I was reading all the lyrics out loud to everybody. They thought that was pretty disgusting. I'll read you some. They thought it would be easy, but now they're being crushed. Agorants of power leaves them dying in their blood. There will be no mercy for these filthy sons of whores. The inures of my enemies impaled upon my sword. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, I can't even think of two sentences that can I can get words to rhyme. Many years we've waited for this final day of slaughter. Our victims are decapitated. Their limbs are torn a solder. Careful preparation brought our haughty victims down. Our forces are at full strength. And the time to kill is now. Here we go. The brain removal device. Head removed of their faces lay by my feet. Chopped and hacked, their bodies detached. Eyes and teeth are violently smashed. I'm having strong urges to extract the brains. Overwhelmed with demented thoughts. Could it be that I committed these acts? Death is all I ever know. Gore is what I need to help satisfy me. Brains are all I ever crave. Can't deny my hatred for society. Blood so sweet upon my lips. Shredded brain tissue is mine. Succulent flavor is pure. Evil is personified. Dominance. The rest of their albums, um... I downloaded them from the internet. I downloaded it from the internet. The first three albums, Eaten Back to Life, Butchered at Birth, and Tomb of the Mutilated. They had a couple good songs, but I couldn't really get into all of them. But... The Bleeding with Chris Barnes is the best one. All the songs on it are classics. They think they know who I am. All they know is I love to kill. Face down, dead on the ground. Find me before another is found. <laughs> Chris Barnes and Corpse Grinder. They both have different voices. They get both different screaming styles. I wouldn't really call it singing because it's more like screaming. They both have different styles, but overall, they're both good. Chris Barnes went to do Six Feet Under, and both bands, I think, are both good. Here's their latest release I got. Centuries of Torment. DVD. I think it's a pretty. It's got some pretty sick stuff on it. It's. 
DVD it has it's a three DVD set and the first one is basically the history of the band from the beginning to the present. The second disc contains some live performances and they have all the music videos too. And disc three is just bonus stuff. Like they have an interview with Vincent Locke on there, the artist who does all their album covers. The band's been around 20 years and they still haven't even met him. I thought that was pretty funny. In the video, when they're telling this, the history, they have like other people from other bands and they're telling about it. Like, they have Richard Christie on there. That guy's hilarious. From the, from the band Death, and he's, and he was on the Howard Stern show. And they have Ice T on there. Ice T and Cannibal Corpse both got some of their material banned. Like, Ice T got his song, uh, Cop Killer Band. I guess they felt it was too violent. And Cannibal Corpse, their, some of their stuff has been banned in a couple countries, like Germany, they can't play Hammer Smashed Face, or they could be arrested. That was back a couple of years, but now they're allowed to play that stuff. I recommend you buy that DVD because it kicks so much ass. It is the most brutal 7 hours and 20 minutes you will ever witness. I sound so stupid and fat. Make some faces like some of the bands make. I don't understand how George can do that with his head and his head not pop off. One of these days he's going to be playing and his head's going to fall off and everyone in the audience is going to think it's part of the show. And then everyone in the band's going to be like freaking out because his head actually fell off. Blood squirting everywhere. The other day I was watching TV and I saw a World of Warcraft ad with Ozzy Osbourne. And I know George is a, is a big fan of World of Warcraft. I was thinking how brutal that... I was thinking, what if he made a commercial? A WoW commercial. He would be swearing and stuff. It's just a fucking game! <laughs> hey, nine million people are as fucked up as me about it. Well, maybe not as fucked up as me, but... <laughs> this is supposed to be an interview about Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> I don't think Ozzy... Ozzy even knows how to even play that. Or has the motor skill. Their new album, due out February 3rd, called Evascaration Plague. I'll probably buy it the first day it comes out. But I don't know, because where I buy my... Where I buy my CDs, they, like, never have any metal that I want. All they have is crap. 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 Brains are all I ever crave. Merry Christmas to you all. Make it brutal. Good night.